What's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video where today we're going to be talking about our quarterback, Anthony Richardson. A little bit of stuff that was said about him today, uh, you know, looking back on what he had done in the past. And this is what I'm seeing. Okay, Stephen Holder had a tweet this morning where he said, Good update from Colts coach Shane Steichen on quarterback Anthony Richardson from this morning's owners' meetings, coaches' breakfast. And coach said, quote, I think he'll be good to go for spring practice. Obviously, we've got to limit it and monitor it and don't go overboard, but I can't be more excited to get him back going again. His limited sample size that he had in those first five weeks were impressive. I mean, he had some plays that I've never seen guys make. So big words coming from Shane Steichen. He obviously enjoyed what he saw from his quarterback and talking about being able to get him back. Like we were wondering, you know, is he going to be back for for training camp? And assuming he would be back for training camp, wasn't very sure about was he going to be able to participate in the other things that happen in the summer, right? Rookie mini camps, is he going to be able to be there to be, you know, kind of integrate himself with who's being drafted, the mandatory minicamp that happens. Is he going to be able to participate in that? Well, he'll be able to participate in everything in spring, and obviously they're going to you know, ease him back into activity. He's already doing some activity. He's put out videos before. His agent put out videos before of him throwing already, so he's already getting stuff done, but he's about to get to a point where he's going to be able to put the pads on. He's going to be able – well, maybe not in spring practices. They're probably not putting pads on yet, uh, but going to be able to get back on the field with his teammates and be able to get back in the motions, be able to get back in the grind of what the season is going to be, get that started, um, and get back into his football routine. And then Stephen Holder went on to say, the single biggest reason the Colts have basically run it back with their roster is because they're convinced Richardson is a difference maker who can help them take a leap. That has come through in numerous conversations I've had in recent weeks. So that's a lot saying, you know, coming from Stephen Holder. And I think the Colts' approach to the offseason, you know, kind of shows exactly that. Like, they think with Anthony Richardson healthy that we'd be a really good team. And we've kind of mentioned that here before. Like, I honestly believe if Anthony Richardson is able to stay healthy and is able to play in all the games last year, the Colts are probably a 12-win team. And 11, okay, definitely 11, probably a 12-win team. So, in my opinion, like, him coming back, you know, everybody coming back in the same system. Anthony Richardson's a year older. Like, I think it can only be good and we can only go up, right? Juju, imagine Juju Brent stays healthy. Dallas Flowers stays healthy, right? If we can get some of these core guys, some of these key guys at really important positions, if we can get these guys to stay healthy, then I think we have a good chance this year. Now, there was also video of Coach Steichen answering a question at that breakfast, and I want to go ahead and play that for you guys, and then we'll talk about what he's saying. You could see even when he played this year early on, like he had a really good feel where to go with football early. You know what I mean? And it might not be his first read, but it would be like a guy on a jet motion, and it's like, I'm going to throw an over. Oh, my gosh, no one covered the guy on this, the jet motion. The ball. And, like, he popped one against, I think it was Tennessee. It was early to Downs. And, boom, and Downs went down the side for 20. But I was just like, oh, they didn't cover him. He saw it, too. It's like, here, ball. Like, you can't. That's playing you quarterback. Can't, that's playing quarterback. You, that's playing quarterback. Like, he just, he, he knows that stuff, which is huge, and it helps as coaches, like that processing speed of like, oh, you guys busted here, ball. Okay, so that right there, I love hearing everything about that. Like, Coach Steichen, like, if there's one thing I've noticed about him, he's not going to BS around. He's not going to go over the top, you know, trying to sell his guys. He's going to be fair in the media and say what he means, right? He's not going to bash anybody. Um, but you, you'll know how you stand with Coach Steichen through what he says. You just got to you just gotta know how he talks. And I feel like just from what we've seen in one year, I have a pretty good idea of, of Coach Steichen and how he operates. So for him to say that about Anthony Richardson, when Anthony Richardson only you know went through five weeks before he was out for the year, Anthony Richardson is going into his second season, and he's talking about the processing speed. This is a prospect that everybody said was so raw. But the processing speed, having elite processing speed, being able to see very quickly where the defense busts 
trusted coverages, knowing his own play, right? You have to know what you're doing in the offense, know what everybody's supposed to be doing, and then you have to be able to read and know what the defense is doing immediately upon the snap, and being able to have that recognition is what we, we've we kind of been talking about. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, it, it almost gets lost because he's so electric as a runner and what he was able to do running the ball, even though he wasn't, you know, having a bunch of rush yards, what he was able to do and getting a bunch of touchdowns and being that kind of guy for us, like it just gets missed. I think how good he was passing the ball, which is why we were so hyped about him. Not only can he throw the ball far, but he can throw the ball accurately, right? That that short to mid-range accuracy is really what we're trying to hone in. But I think even by week five, by the time he got hurt for the rest of the year, I think he was you know, starting to figure it out. And I think he'll continue to figure that out as time goes, and that'll be fine. Uh, what we've seen from him as a passer is great. I'm very excited about what Coach is saying, excited that he'll be able to participate in spring practice and really start to ramp him himself up really just of course we all just want him to be healthy and there are going to be people in the comment section oh he'll never stay healthy da, 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 da. you can be like that if you want okay I'm just going to assume that the quarterback of the future is going to you know come in and be able to keep himself healthy he'll be able to be good Juju Brents will be good and we'll have a good season okay so we have more to talk about. Uh, there's some free agency stuff. Uh, there's a little bit of rule changes. How does that affect us? A little bit of draft talk. You know, with the draft one month away, it's time to start getting into that. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you get notified of any of the videos that we drop as we have daily content on this channel. And, of course, I appreciate you joining me for another video. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.